luckily we already created a function to deal with this so we can reuse this user id from username function so let's go ahead and say user id from username username and we pass through that so i'm going to echo out user id uh, and that will just echo the current user id here so that's 15. let's take a look in our database alex has the user id 15. so what we can now do is we can use this user id and pass this into the user data function so i'm going to create a new variable called profile data we'll just move these along so we can keep everything nice and tidy and um, profile data is going to equal user data so the user data function we're going to pass in the user id and we're also going to pass in the fields that we want to access here so the fields i want to access are first name and this is just an example this could be anything first name last name and email for example okay so now that we've done this um, we can go ahead and we can output whatever information we want about a user now the only problem that we've got here is that we are not checking whether a user actually exists or not we're not doing you know we you know we're not doing this kind of check so what we actually need to do is before we do any of this here we need to check if the username is available because at the moment we can type in alex you know that's fine but um, what happens if a user doesn't exist uh, for example alex1 and we get this error here okay that that that's from our uh, users user underscore data function so we need to uh, perform a check whether the user actually exists or not so i'm going to say if something then oops if something then do all of this um, now how do we check if a user uh, actually exists well we already have a function for that we use that with our register page and our login page so um, if we scroll up we've got this user exists function here we just pass in a username and it returns either true or false so let's go ahead and uh, use this so user exists username if this equals um, true then uh, we do everything inside of here uh, otherwise we can just say something like um, and just escape that character there okay so let's give this a whirl um, I'm gonna type in Alex nothing comes up because we're not doing anything type in Alex one sorry that user doesn't exist so that's fair enough um, I'm gonna leave it at this because there's probably a million ways you can make this look a lot nicer uh, you could redirect your user somewhere or or whatever um, but for now let's go back and focus on actually outputting some information so here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break out of PHP and back into PHP uh, now this is a little messy uh, because what we're doing is we're we, we've got output here in the middle of our logic so we've got all of our logic down here um, and our outputs gonna be stuck in the middle um, I'm gonna leave it as it is but I'm going to um, uh, not give you the challenge but just um, warn you that this can be cleared up so go back and look at how we've done error reporting before and uh, that's probably a good exercise to try and tidy up a file like this and it's not a very a not very big file at all um, either way it will work fine as it is okay so um, we've done that so let's go ahead now and uh, output some data so I've broken out of PHP so I can use pure HTML here and in here I'm gonna say X is uh, profile now X is just gonna basically represent the user that we've passed through and I'm gonna use the first name here so I'm gonna break into PHP and out an echo profile data first name perfect so let's go ahead and refresh and it says Alex's profile now we also have um, Billy here as well um, so I can go in and I can look at Billy's profile and that echoes Billy's profile and then obviously by now you've you know probably understood that here we could say something like um, well I could just output an email address for example so I could echo profile data email uh, because we've requested that we want the data from the email field so now it gives us the email address and again we can go back to Alex here 
and do the same. So I'm not going to take this any further. I'm going to um, you know leave it at that because it's then easy, very very easy to go ahead and just output any data that you are storing uh, about your user. Um, so now we'll just finish off with going and opening uh, our includes file, opening up our logged in uh, menu widget, and let's go ahead and add a link in for the user themselves to access their own profile. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, paste this underneath here, and I'm going to say profile. Um, just in here, um, we well, what do we do? We can say forward slash, and then we want the username in here. So how do we access the user's name? Well, let's go to init.php. You can see that the user data variable holds the username. We've already dealt with this, so you should be familiar. Uh, so username here. So what we can do is we can say, and we're doing this here, by the way, user data first name, but obviously uh, it's the username that we're passing through. So I'm going to say php echo user data username. So now I'm going to go ahead and refresh. Let's go back to the home page. Uh, we've got this profile link here. If you look at the bottom left hand corner of my browser you can see localhost forward slash alex uh, that's obviously not what we want um, we want I think without the forward slash would be better there we go so we've got local bottom left hand corner again we've got localhost forward slash lr forward slash alex so I click on that and it takes me to my profile um, so yeah that's about it that is how we would go ahead and output uh, profile contents as you can see we've done this extremely easily because we already have the majority of functions in place well all of the functions in this case uh, to actually grab the data that we need and the only difference that we've made is we've created this HT access file uh, which has allowed us to rewrite the URL